So a new trailer for a movie called Monkey Man recently hit the cyberspace and has immediately got the entire film community in its grasp and got them so excited that this out of nowhere movie has shot up everybody's most anticipated movie list. But if you don't know, Monkey Man is an action thriller that takes place in India and takes inspiration on the mythos of Hanuman, which is known as the Monkey God. And the main character, who's apparently named Kid, is inspired by the story of Hanuman and decided to go on a revenge killing spree upon the people who killed his mother. So a big thing people are excited about this movie is the main actor and the director, because both of those roles are taken by Dev Patel, who if you don't know, he started movies like Slumdog Millionaire and got an Academy Award nomination for his role in Lion. So this guy is a very good actor and a pretty charismatic British man if you watch him in his interviews. But here's the thing, he's kind of solidified himself as a dramatic actor and as a result, he didn't have the chance to step into the action world, which I would understand would be frustrating, especially considering that this man is a black belt in Taekwondo, because that means that there is a creative muscle that hasn't been stretched yet. And even though he did things like The Green Knight or The Last Airbender, which is a movie that is more frustrating than waking up 10 minutes before your alarm, neither of those movies really had the complex hand-to-hand -hand combat that would be needed for someone with Taekwondo skills. But that's where Dev Patel came in, because he wrote a story for himself where he could force himself into the action scene and prove to the world what he's capable of. And if you don't know, he's been working on this story for a lengthy amount of time. Like, he did an interview way back in 2017, where he talked about this exact movie and how he is currently writing it. And again, this was in 2017, so he probably started writing the script in 2016, and now it's coming out in 2024. So if a movie is taking this long to write and make, then it has to be good because he took his time with it. But I think there's one more reason for why people should be excited for this, because Monkey Man was supposed to be set in Netflix in 2021, and it was bought by them for $30 million. But Jordan Peele, who you may know as the director for movies like Get Out, Us, and Nope, he got the chance to see it early and use some of his Hollywood Hocus Pocus to try and release this movie in theaters as opposed to streaming. So we got a gritty action movie starring and directed by an Academy Award nominated actor who knows how to fight and wrote the script for a lengthy amount of time and is also being produced by Jordan Peele. This has all the elements of a good movie. Now a lot of people are calling this guy the Desi or Indian John Wick, which is funny and kind of true, but I want to make it clear this isn't a carbon copy of John Wick because John Wick had to deal with criminals of connected power, whereas Monkey Man is dealing with underground crime and assassins. And when it comes to action, come on, don't think John Wick is the only thing to have done violent action before. I mean, have you seen Atomic Blonde, Reacher, Extraction, Punisher, Bullet Train, The Equalizer? Violent action isn't anything new. It's just that John Wick was the best at it. But let's see if Monkey Man can beat that and do something different. But yeah, thanks for watching.